52 points in this one. And with that said, I just want to welcome you to the show. I got some lines and personal leans out for our NFL Week 6 slate of later games. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly remind you to check out my daily best play at patreon.com slash brockpage. And with a documented win percentage of 75% from my last 12 underdog plays on that website, you're costing yourself valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So once again, please feel free to hit that pause button right now. Open up your browser and just quickly check me out at patreon.com slash brockpage. It'll only take a few seconds. The link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you are watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You make it all worth it. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Jags Cowboys 425 Dallas. The Jags open 1.5, now minus 2.5 against the spread. Total open 41 and a hook, down to 40 even. Currently, Jacksonville's the $1.50 favorites on the money line. That was a nickel move toward Jacksonville. And at the moment, the Cowboys come into Sunday's matchup. Just 2-3 and three on the season, just 2-3 and three against the spread. Now, the Cowboys have really struggled against the number as of late, dropping two out of their last three against the spread, while also going 2-4 and four ATS in their last six at Jerry World. They're averaging just 16 points of scoring per game and just 172 yards passing through the air. They are taking on a very stingy Jacksonville defense, who gives up just 17 points a game and 191 yards through the air. The Jags have garnered themselves some marquee covers over the likes of the Giants, Pats, and Jets. They're also 5-2 ATS in their last seven, dating back to last season. 10-5 ATS in their last 15 away from home, and 3-2 ATS thus far on the 2018 season. But if you think this Sunday's matchup between these teams is going to be a defensive snooze fest, just keep in mind that we are looking at a Jacksonville defense who is giving up 101 yards of rushing on the ground per game. They're also giving up 23 points a game on the road, 254 through the air, and a buck 20 on the ground. All those stats while they're away from home. Meanwhile, on the Dallas side, they're rushing for 136 yards per game on average, along with averaging 23 points of scoring per game at home and rushing for 161 on average in Jerry World. And if you take a look at these betting trends, these teams historically go over. 5-1 and one to the over in their last six meetings. So with all that said and done, I do think the Jags will get the job done, but just not in the fashion most of the public bettors are expecting. So with all that said and done, give me the Jacksonville Jags minus two after buying the hook and the over. 40 total points in this one. Next game, Ravens-Titans, 425 Tennessee. The Ravens were minus two, now minus three. 